traditional Chinese lion dance, symbolising the start of a new lunar year. At Beijing's largest temple fair, revellers, dressed for the part, are bouncing into the year of the rabbit with traditional snacks and bunny-themed games. This year's totem has inspired optimism about the months ahead. The year of the rabbit. I think rabbits are really cute and tiny. They're more cheerful than other zodiac signs. <laughs> the most important holiday on the Chinese calendar, the Lunar New Year is traditionally a time to do away with the old and bring in the new. But for many here, it's enough to just be able to spend time with loved ones. For us 30-somethings born after 1980, when we were young, we'd get new clothes, we'd get money. But now we work, so the main thing is we can be with the family, with our parents and kids. The new year is also a chance to stock up on good luck. In Hong Kong, worshippers have come en masse to one of the city's main temples to make offerings and pray for a peaceful year ahead. We bring incense and people in Hong Kong like to use these toy windmills to blow good luck their way. Fortune sticks rattled in a cup until an auspicious one falls out offer insights into the months to come. And while it might be the year of the rabbit, visitors must also appease another animal. A quick pat or rub of the powerful lion's belly guarantees their protection in the year to come.